regreso aquí en Auto 060 y como les prometí, vamos a presentarles la entrevista con uh, Bob Moran de la Mercedes-Benz AMG aquí en el Boat Show de Miami presentando el auto eléctrico, el SLS eléctrico y un bote eléctrico producido por la firma Cigarette Racing de Miami. I were here at the Boat Show in Miami with Rod Moran with uh, AMG Mercedes-Benz and uh, you brought another big surprise to the auto show, uh, to the Boat Show, I'm sorry. We used to come to the Miami Convention Center for the auto show, but you have something special here for us today. Yeah, with all the special things that we have at the Miami show, I think there's nothing more special than our SLS inspired uh, cigarette electric drive. Absolutely 100% electric powered cigarette. Un, unknown before uh, and this has three sets of electric motors uh, that would be in the car there are times three in the boat so really um, showing how our partnership that we don't just inspire the design but we also have a powertrain collaboration together with our partner cigarette and uh, since this is radio and we cannot really show our audience how this looks can you describe a little because this is I think the most uh, striking color for a boat in the whole show here yeah if, if the, the listeners were here in person I think they need sunglasses to look at the paint exactly. that we have on this. Even though we're indoors. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is a, almost like a, a highlighter green-yellow fluorescent color that was the signature color uh, on our SLS electric drive. Uh, and now we have that. Imagine that as a 40, uh, a 39-foot boat with that color on it. But also when we pop the deck open, which everyone is looking at right now, are the uh, AMG electric motors which power the cigarette. So this is probably the quietest cigarette that's, that's out there. That's another thing. Very cool, right? Um, but also one of the fastest that are here at the boat show. That's pretty amazing. So this car, the car, the electric SLS, was debuted at uh, some recent auto show that I can remember. Now because they come in together, you can try it. Yeah, exactly. So now, how does this collaboration work? I mean, do your engineers come here to Miami to work with the engineers from Cigarette? How does that work? Yeah, I mean, the collaboration is really, it's mutual admiration. We both enjoy uh, the performance uh, products that we each uh, develop. And, and Skip Braver, who owns uh, Cigarette, is a big AMG customer. Yeah. We've had this collaboration together and, and specifically on the AMG boat we've collaborated over a year uh, to integrate electric motors um, into the cigarette which has never been done uh, there are no boats here at the at the boat show for that uh, and it's also a first for AMG to have a powertrain uh, from the automotive side uh, electric uh, state-of-the-art now into a, what we think is one of the absolutely the finest powerboat made cigarette yeah it's pretty amazing I mean just the looks of it but uh, it will be very interesting to hear um, or not to hear I guess the inside because one of the things with these big boats is that they're very very noisy the ones with the regular engines that they, they, they put into the water but this one so you say it's like almost like a sailboat like it doesn't make any any noise I mean I get the splash from the water but I, besides I, that yeah theoretically it could be as silent as the wind uh, wow. if you will because uh, you just hear the, the hum of the electric motors, but uh, there, you don't have that combustion sound exactly. that you have from traditional exhaust. The same is true in the car, but what we do have with the car is, for, enthusiasts love the sound, but they also want the performance. That car has great performance, but we can also impose some sound. And we can pretty it's much, like computer generator almost like an something. app, if you will, yeah, on exactly. your phone, you can make it almost any sound that you want. So you can make it as quiet or as uh, as loud as enthusiastic if you like, and uh, we could we could extend that same uh, to the boat. So the car is a prototype? And the boat is a prototype too, or both are for production? Well, actually, the car is a production. So we had a uh, prototype that we had shown uh, the Detroit show a number of years ago. We announced um, late last year that we would have a production for Europe. Uh, so the SLS electric drive is uh, available for sale in Europe. As far as the boat right now, uh, we can certainly, I, I think working with Cigarette, that if a customer was interested, we could certainly uh, start discussing that. But the boat is, in its, it, this is the first one built uh, and very much a prototype, but uh, also a running prototype. So I guess there's no price uh, that can be said, or like how much is this boat run for? I mean, the other ones that you have done in the past, how much would they sell for? I have to defer to Cigarette on that. I mean, some of the boats are yeah. easily in the seven figure range. And I know. I think this is in the even higher, bit more yeah. than that. Yeah. Well, excellent. Uh, I wish we were outside on the water here in beautiful Miami Beach, but uh, we'll take it for now because uh, it really looks very nice. Thank you, Ralph. Thanks for your time. Y del boat show en Miami con Mercedes Benz vamos ahora a trasladarnos a una entrevista que hice recientemente con Ben Poor, vicepresidente de las Américas de Infinity, sobre los planes que tiene la división de lujo de la Nissan. So here we go. Ben Poor from uh, Infinity, and uh, this is really a new year in many ways for Infinity. Uh, a new car, uh, a new na naming uh, philosophy for the whole brand. Uh, why, why is all this? But I think uh, what you're starting to see is, is where we're going as a brand with the new Q50. Uh, the nomenclature, first of all, we did because we had to. Um, our current nomenclature restricts us to a certain extent. There are no 
there's really no alphanumeric combinations left in the world. <laughs> That's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. It's amazing, right? But um, and we also needed to divorce ourselves from the uh, displacement in terms of our nomenclature. So okay. engine displacement. Yeah. Well, most brands have done that, and as we get a variety of new powertrains, some of them are going to be smaller in total displacement, but actually more powerful. Our current nomenclature doesn't quite work for that. Um, it allows us to signal that we're going to provide products below where we are today yeah. and above where we are today. And it's a very simple way of going up and down the line. And the first product in that, obviously, is the all-new Q50. Uh, and this is a product that represents the most potential volume. Pressing is just absolutely the entry into luxury today. And so it's an exciting time to launch the new nomenclature with this all-new product. It's an entry on the luxury brand, but uh, it has a lot of uh, things, a, a lot of technologies. This is a hybrid, right? This is a hybrid that we have out here today. Uh, we're targeting 360 horsepower, probably up to 30, probably up to 334 miles per gallon. So you're talking about a hybrid that has actually the spirit of a, of a true performance vehicle. Um, but if we can achieve that, uh, we'll be, it end up being the, the highest combined horsepower fuel economy available in America. So it really brings advanced technology to the product. Yeah, that's amazing. So uh, Infinity is not growing only here in the States, but it's growing all over the world. Uh, one of the changes for the company was the headquarters were moved to Hong Kong. That's correct. Um, our headquarters are in Hong Kong, and that was a very important thing for us to do. It, it, it signals a real um, separation of the brand from the mother nest, if yeah. you like. Um, it allows us to strike out our own path. And as we move forward, for example, myself here in the Americas, I will be reporting directly up through the Hong Kong office. Um, and by doing that, creating a separate automotive company in a sense, um, we can put ourselves on a long-term trajectory for becoming a premium luxury uh, brand, not only here in the United States, which were well established here, but across this the This is where the company started, right? Like Infinity was made uh, or built to for the US market. That's correct. It, it was started here um, very soon afterwards went into Canada. So one of the markets that came relatively soon after that was Puerto Rico, Yeah. Um, but really an America's-based uh, company, and only within the last five years have we expanded out. Yeah. And you expanded also to South America, I believe you went into Chile last year, um, Brazil, uh, or you've been in Brazil for a, for a while already, or? Well, in South America, we're already in Chile. Yeah. Uh, we launched earlier this year, and we announced our intention to enter in the Brazil market. Okay, that's it, yeah. uh, but we did launch, um, moving not into South America, but in, in um, Central America, we launched in Panama. Um, Which is a hot market, by the way, in many ways. No, very no hot market. It's growth. Um, yeah. they got the third set of locks being built there yeah. with the canal. Um, a lot of investment in real estate. You go to Panama City today, it looks like... Like Miami. <laughs> yeah, it's even more growth than Miami. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um, and we also just launched in the uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Mexico. And uh, in those markets, you were all the products, or you were, like, select, selecting specific models that would be more uh, prone for those? Uh, markets? Um, it, it's, it varies depending on the market, depending on the local taste and, you know, so for example, the convertible is not sold yeah. everywhere. It's just not, there's just not a lot of demand in all markets. Uh, but for the most part, we try to have as wide a variety of products as possible. So the Q5, the Q50, I'm sorry, uh, is presented here at the other show in Detroit. When is it going to sell and uh, when, when, what's next after that? So the Q50 is, um, will be on sale this summer. Uh, in the United States and Canada, uh, and then it will expand out from there for the rest of the world. Um, from there, uh, we've announced that we're also building uh, a luxury electric vehicle. Uh, haven't set specific timing on when that's going to be available. And we've also announced uh, a, a vehicle that will be smaller um, than the Q50 uh, to be built in Sunderland in the United Kingdom. Um, and that's a vehicle that we're jointly developing with uh, the Daimler Corporation. And so on the Q50, um, we already have the new JX, which will be now the future QX60. Yeah. So uh, all that, to, to, to just to clarify, all the SUVs or crossovers are QX. That's correct. Numbers. Okay. Yeah, and it's very simple. Once you once you have the the QX and the number, you go up or down depending on which okay. product you're in. Um, and then. Uh, 
new EV coming on, luxury EV, and then again another smaller car that uh, will be smaller than the than the Q50. Oh, excellent! You guys, seems like you're gonna be busy, be busy for the next few years. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. That's yeah, our intention. Companies change. start planning cars for like five, seven years ahead, so you're planning 2020. I hope. Oh, no, we are absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We'll have some more. Nothing yeah, to talk about absolutely. yet. But that's why we changed our nomenclature to help us expand our product lineup. Okay. Well, thank you very much for having us here in Detroit, and I uh, hope to see you soon again. Awesome. Great. Thank Thanks for man. having me. Bye. No se vayan que cuando regresemos tenemos más información sobre los arreglos que está haciendo la Toyota para reparar los problemas de sus recalls. Mejor es, eh, es mejor comprar un auto usado que uno nuevo y los reclamos sobre el millaje de los autos nuevos 2003. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.